Mediatis MTA. So we say, big up, Mediatis. You don't know, young song in the building. No love. Well, let me say, Mediatis. Meet Mr. Pin, right? Meet the artist, man. The body show out. You don't know Grenada. At the biggest show. Meet the artist. Hey, hey, I'm me, Squeezer. Big up, meet the artist. What do you say? Meet the artist, the body show. Meet the artist to the world. Big up, meet the artist. Meet the artist, sell off. Welcome back to Meet the Artist. I'm Anika Blackett, and today we're going to be interviewing none other than Mr. Felon Blackett, his Calypso Subrique, Small Ease. What do you like? Man smart, mud woman smarter, a foolish man. He believes how sun stand. When he got right in his hand, he had the master plan to rule and control woman. But what he never knew, he never had a clue. There's nothing that woman can do. Once they make up their mind. Welcome back to Media Artists. Today we have Mr. Felon Blackett. We want to welcome you to Media Artists. Thank you very much, Mrs. Blackett, for having me on Media Artists. You're welcome. Can you tell us something about yourself that some of you, our viewers may not know? My name is Felon Blackett. Calypso Sugin Smallies. I was born in a beautiful village in St. Andrews Union. Grew up in Baltazar, St. Andrews. Migrate to Green Street, St. George's, and presently living at beautiful La Sagesse in St. David's. A lot of people will know me in the early times, stating back from 1983. Snow started with plantation calypso tent. I do a pretty you, bit of singing with a tent, then I move on to a tremors. I went in with a band called Adhesive. I was the lead singer there. And for the past years, I've been doing calypsos, which I started calypsos from a very young age, because my mother used to run a folk group. My father is also a calypsonian. He's known in the calypso world as Saga Boy. So, you know, the calypso thing, I had it in me from since I'm a very young child. And I take it from there and I bring it up to today, you know. For the past years, I've been doing calypsos. People know me, you know. Being in the semi-finals, but before the semi-finals, I could count myself as a standby king. There was a lot of standby before I could have made the semi-finals. Getting into the semi-finals on many occasions, then I make the breakthrough to the final finals, and which I really enjoy singing and really enjoy being in the shows. But in 1996, I was crowned as the independent crown king in Grenada, Caracol, Peter Martin. Well, I decided to get on a higher level from there, keep on singing past to the past years. Make a little stop off now and you know, I say stop off, stay away from competition because of I was immature at a certain time too. Maybe the decision that the judges used to really take, I didn't see it on my behalf, you know, so I let that be a part of me. But getting more mature, I get to realize, you know, it makes no sense. Whatever the judges do, that's their job. I'm here to do my job. And my job is to sing and to motivate and educate the people of the nation. And so here I'm high again. For next year, last year I didn't sing because of certain reasons, you know. Um, I couldn't have really handled the competition scene you know, or even the, the recording thing because I had other things which I really want to discuss, you know, on national television. But how I am this year, I'll be doing two selections this year. And if everything goes well this year, I guess as much, Smalley should be right through. It's, it's two nice selections. And I think these two selections should bring me through. Can you tell us some of the, your popular songs from back in the days? I have a lot of popular songs, okay. but for the people calls, I will tell you the environment. See the environment, even my name is Pan. But a real song I think that people really like is Porter Spin. But my favorite song in all of them is My Apology. People usually call it Granny, because this song is a true song, you know. I wrote this song when my grandmother was alive. And I never get to do it, you know, on tape, but I had to really sing it for before she died. But to me, anytime I sing that song, anytime I hear that song, it brings me back to the old childhood days, you know. So, but there is a lot of popular songs that people could tell, you know. But as I said, so I might repeat myself, I think Potter Spin is the one that stands out in all of them. Tell us what your take is on the copyright issue this year with artists being registered. What do you think about that? 
Well, the Copyright Act, I feel it's a good, it's a good move. But any organization or any group of people that want to get the Copyright Act together, it's a good thing because remember, artists been singing songs and sometimes they get nothing in return. When you do art, people play it on different radio stations. We're glad that they're playing our songs, so that means we could get established towards the world. And if you check the modern um, social media now, everybody getting to know about their song, but some things should be given back onto the artist. But you have to take careful thoughts of any organization that get into the Copyright Act. I mean, I'll support them 100%. Although I'm not a member of the, um, the Act as yet, but very soon, I'll be a member. I just want to know where they're going because we know where we came from, where they're going, and what are the benefits that most of the artists are going to get. Because when I'm dead and gone, my grandchildren and my great great grandchildren will be able to get benefits. So I think it's a good move. But a group of persons, a person that really take up that, has off to them. A stupid man, you'll be fine up in a jam. What is your take on the two associations happening right now in Grenada? <laughs> you know, I have to make a smile on that one, you know, although I'm a smiling man, but every time people talk about the two associations, I see it in my years of experience in Grenada, taking part in Calypso and the association, it's like a game, a game to all the political affiliations. Because a place like Grenada, I don't think there is any need for two associations. The Calypsonian is one cry of one purpose, one goal we're trying to achieve. And I don't see why we just can't come together as a people or as artists and unite, unify this thing and bring it together under one umbrella with the Ministry of Culture stepping in as a co-host, somebody to, to guide us. Because if you check for the past years, I'm being honest, it's only politics that been playing in the associations. Calypsonians, do you respect them? Georges, do you respect them? They're using the, our associations to preach their political games. And this up to stop if we want to go somewhere and we want to be on the right path so the younger guys and girls could take a page of the book that we wrote and left behind. Otherwise, you're going to be serious for us. we going out. It might be for me. But think about the young Calypsonian that's coming up. The trend that we're trying to show them to take. It is not good for them. And when I leave this place and go planet Earth, I would like to put footprints on the sun where the wave cannot wash it off. So I think the association to try and step up, step up to the plate. And let me come as one body for one common goal and bring this thing to a level where it got to be. We're chatting with Smallies here today. We'll be right back. We take a short break. Midlands, motor sales and rentals. Midlands, motor sales and rentals. Midlands, motor sales and rentals now stock a wider range of used auto parts for all imports. They include transmissions, headlights, engines, Bonnets, windscreens. If we do not have the part, we source it. Come and visit us today and experience the comfort of our bikes, our scooters, Noats, Honda Sierras, Suzuki Escudos, Grand Vita. When you purchase a vehicle from us that is as young as 2005, you earn yourself six months warranty and of course your first brake and oil change and when you purchase a vehicle that is as young as 2004 you earn yourself four months warranty so if you are looking for a one-stop shop for all your vehicular needs then visit midlands motor sales and rentals our rental service offers you unlimited mileage on our cars jeeps and scooters yes we are open 365 days per year giving you a 24 hour service 
We operate at two convenient locations at Morris Bishop International Airport, Point Selin St. George's, and at Grandance St. George's. Our numbers are 444-4022 or 444-3272. Our cell 536-0735 or 405-4796. Midlands Motor Sales and Rentals. Taking you to the acme of mobility. When you come to Grenada for the summertime, meet the artist MTA. So we say, Big up, meet the artist. You don't know Young Song in the building. No love. Well, let me say, meet the artist. Meet Mr. Pin, right? Meet the artist, man. The body show out. You don't know Grenada at the biggest show. Meet the artist. Welcome to another season of Mediatis. Congrats to the producers for sustaining the, the, the program. Um, it's very, very informative, very beneficial to the artists as, as the audience gets close-up information about, the, about, about our local artists. Um, as we start another carnival season, just wanted to touch on an issue that continues to, to make the news, especially uh, around, now you will hear a lot about it, around activities when there are big shows in the stadium and so on. And it is that of copyright. There is a copyright law on the books here in Grenada. And the copyright law is supposed to look after the interests of our artists, our creators, composers, producers of music, performers, and so on. However, we have found ourselves in a dichotomy where there is advocacy on behalf of the artist, but not necessarily to the benefit of the artist. Um, the, the, the bullying and the targeting of promoters to collect minimal fees does not in any way benefit the artists. The full benefits of copyright will be realized when radio stations, who are the main beneficiaries of playing music, can pay the fair share so that the artists can fully benefit. Collecting $1,500 from a promoter actually does nothing for the artist. Um, it might have been better to leave the promoter with the $1,500 so he could have had more local artists to have on the show. I am hopeful that we will get it right. Presently constituted, what is happening is not benefiting our local artists. We need to relook, rethink the process so that there is a proper system in place that the popular artists, the popular songs are properly recorded. The popular performers, when they go to perform, they are properly recorded. Monies are collected and properly dispersed. The present system is not working and I hope those who are responsible take heed and fix the problem soonest. Welcome back to Media Artists. Today we have with us Smallies. You say you fed up with kids. It's too much lies to keep on visit. You say you want transparency and good governance. You find the vote of a lord, so you throw down a overboard. We hear Calypsonians say that they are not judged fairly. However, when workshops are carded, little or no one shows up. What, what is your take on that? Well, my take on that, I could be wrong. But you see, we have to take into consideration. The Calypsonians are working personnel. And sometimes you see people just get together and put an out of body radio. That there will be a workshop next week, Wednesday, next week, Thursday, next week, Saturday. You see, what I feel should be happening, first of all, you don't really take much to get a pen and paper and put together and write the artists, write to them in person and say, hey, we want to have a workshop. Or we'll pick up the phone and call the artist. Because they should have every artist, if the thing really put in place, how it's supposed to be, you should have to have each and every Calypsonian number. So you could pick up the phone and have a chit chat with them and say, hey, smallest can make it Wednesday, but you could make it Saturday because he have his family to take care of and he have to go to work. But most of the time they don't do that. People just get together and they say, we're having a workshop. Although I'm not using that for excuse. On the other hand, let me look at the next page. 
for instance me I will encourage everyone to go to a workshop but at the end of the day sometimes Calisonians don't go to a workshop because going to the workshop sometimes to the Calisonians it solves no problems because or no problem being solved because it's the same thing that's been doing due respect to the judge for the work, um, them judges the work they're doing but a lot of them know that they are not doing a proper job I'm not saying that you know I want to take over the job but if you're doing something you must do it good a lot of times we know judges have discussion like any other California in your room shop. I go meet a judge and I go say, Whoa, scrumpy bar this year, boy, scrumpy bar. I listen him over there and I say that to our next judge. Side by judge in our room shop, talking with which we call it. And that judge, sometimes when he go all the workshop he done, when he go to judge scrumpy, he don't listening for what scrumpy have to say the night. All he know that our next judge, he tell, tell him already that scrumpy bar. So all he's going to do is max scrumpy the kind of points you want to get him in. I mean, I'm only using the name scrumpy via either person and, and that's what comes to mind to, um, at, at present. But what I'm saying to the people, we know that they're making a great sacrifice just like the Calypsonian. But come on, guys and girls, as judges, you respect to all of but all you need to get this thing straight. And this is more some of the main reasons that Calypsonian don't go into workshops. Because they had happened in the past. And it's gonna happen again if they don't step up to the play. There are plans put in place right now to revive the Kai Ted. What do you think about that? I think he's a very good move by whosoever tent leaders or maybe the government structure to revive them, to, to revamp carnival, the Calypso, so I should say Calypso tent. Because for five years we've been going through a lot of Calypsoian. When the season comes, July, to practice, you're good to go. That's what they say to us most of the time, you're good to go. Two shoes, launching at the tent, judging at the tent the next one. And this is not good at all. I find that we should have adequate time as artists to prepare ourselves. I want to say as artists, I'm talking about players of instrument too. Most of the time, guys playing music on stage for you, you are the calypso and you don't move in, they don't, I'm not moving because you're not too acquainted although they're reading, you know? You're not too acquainted with the songs. And if this tent started early, that you have enough practice, you won't have them kind of problems. So what I feel tent managers should do? It's time that we get up. If you check all groups getting together and having block O, they have been three for ten and two, two for ten and whatsoever they have been. Why we the Calypsonian and the tent leaders can not organize our tents early and make a block O and judge if we could raise funds to have a tent starting early instead of waiting every year for government subventions. We know that they're going to give us the money. That's, that's the duty they're going to give us. But most of the time they pull foot and it'll be late. Because we have to tell ourselves as Calypsonian, without we, as the players of Calypso and Carnival, they could never be Carnival. So we have to get up and help ourselves. It's too long we're waiting on subvention and we will just go too far as to say, if they don't pay us subvention, we will boycott Carnival. We have to look at other interviews, other things to do to, to really revive the Calypso tent. Because if you check the soccer man, I like how they have it nice. I'm afraid just now we will have it like the soccer men to just take our CD and just judge on the CD. And I, 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 don't, I pray that that will never happen. Because the soccer man, he do his thing from a demo and he go and judge on it. He make the preliminaries by judging on a tape. Semi-final by judging on a tape. He don't have to pay much money only for the studio. But the Calypsonian, we, we, we are going to score our shit. Our shit. 150 to score one song and we have to lose two songs so there's a cost so we need to help ourselves and the people who behind carnival get up we don't feel hot some of california to see we have side in the room and no umbrella over our head up to now ready the answer waiting yes after your budget ready so much hungry more to be fed you push that in our way 
and you introduce the blue way. You think with your food, your man we blind. You always got walk up in the pipeline. Around the country, wherever you go. If you know Tell us what are your plans for 2K13? What are my plans for 2K13? I'm singing this year. I got a song they call I Plead the Blood. And I have a next song actually, well, I call it the People Song. I just relate in what had happened in the Ghana election. The title of the song is Wash Out. Because if you check back in the Ghana election, there was a lot of melee, a lot of confusion, people saying this is so I put it together, the lyrics together and I'll be singing the people's songs. So I'll be just relating what the people said to me back in songs. Okay, so we can look out for you to this year to try it for the D Match Girl once again? Well it's not look out, you know, I'm here, you know, I'm here and I'm taking this thing on a high highs, you know. I'm serious in this Calypso competition more than ever. A couple of past two years I said that, you know. Uh, before I used to take it for fun. But now I'm taking Calypso for tick. I'm a man I'm getting older. I'm, I mean, I'm not old, but I'm getting older. And I got to take life on a serious note in anything I do right now, you know. And Caleb, so to me, is a livelihood. And without money on the table from Caleb, so I cannot eat. I can't take care of my kids. Can't send them to university. So if I have to take Caleb so serious, I have to look all options to be riding. Uh, if possible, winning in the crown this year. And this is what I'm really about doing this year. You always got walk up in the pipeline Around the country, wherever you go If you know you're looking, get in slow Put your hands together for Felon Blackett Smarties A foolish man He built his house on sand When he tried right in his hand He had the master plan To rule and control woman But what he never knew He never had a clue there's nothing that woman can do Once they make up their mind No need to waste no time You could have cried till you I get through Thank you very much for coming on me dad this with us today we, we hope that to see you again very soon And all the best for Carnival 2013 Thank you very much When the fire get hot and the time get dread She feel a family of 20 with a loaf of bread So never underestimate Powers of a woman, I tell you never underestimate the powers of a woman. I see married, happy men with man and man. I see the evidence, but I can't believe everywhere you turn now is Adam and Steve. When I see the thing they do, my people don't go. What is taking place in Papagal World? Tell them they could never ever be No for the youth for a woman I tell you they could never be No for the youth for a woman Tell them to stop waiting Man was made for woman and woman was made for man Love you! When you come Grenada for the summertime, meet the artist, MTA. So we say, Big up, meet the artist. You don't know, young song in the building. No love. Well, let me say, meet the artist. Meet Mr. Pin, right? Meet the artist, man. The body show out. You don't know Grenada at the biggest show. Meet the artist.